Hi, this is YY from dygadget.blogspot.com. Today with me here is our first laptop in the YouTube channel. It's Elige S5, an OEM from Clairvo P651SE. When I first saw it, I was like, man, this is slim. It's only 2.5 kg in that metal chases. I really like the metal brush finishing. If you are afraid that it might attract fingerprints, you can get a custom paint job from Illegal as well. From bottom color to full body, single color, dual color or custom artwork, you name it, they have it. S5 screen is 15.6 inch. You can choose to get either a full HD or 4K QHD display. This unit with me is Sharp Exo 4K QHD display. Like most of the gaming laptops, it has a backlit keyboard and touchpad. As you can see, the touchpad is offset to the left instead of staying in the center. So when you are playing game using the WASD key, you may accidentally touch the touchpad. So you have to constantly remember to turn it off during gaming. On the other hand, there's also a fingerprint sensor here. So now I'm going to show you what's inside the laptop. Looking at the bottom of the laptop, there's no sign of removable battery. I think this is the reason how they can make it so slim. There are no smaller compartments for you to change some of the key components of the laptop like HDD or RAM. If you want to change any hardware, you have to remove all the screws on the bottom cover, which is 14 of them. There are two types of screws, 12 short one and two long one. This is the shorter one. The long one are located in a hole that has the keyboard sign on it. You might not need to know it when you are unscrewing, but it comes in handy when you're screwing it back later. When you're removing the bottom cover, I think it's easiest to start with the RJ45 port or more known as the WLAN port. And there we go. As you can see, there is your battery here. It's not removable type, but you can easily get it replaced. I can show you right now. Still. If you are using power hunger application that utilizes the graphic card, the battery itself is not enough. You need to plug in the power supply as well. Be careful on the wires that are connected to it. So now I'm going to screw it back again. Next, we can see there are three fans here, one for the CPU and another two for GPU. Due to the structure of the bottom cover and the connection of the heat sink, most of the heat will be dissipated through the side and the back. On the other hand, we can see two M2 slots on the board where you can install your SSD. The first one is here, which has PCIe interface. The second one is here which is SATA interface. So for this unit I'm having, I only have one SSD, which is 128GB. The next thing is hard disk drive. Usually, the HDD is secure to the framework of the laptop, but this is quite different. If you want to change your hard disk drive, you have to first remove the screw around the holder. Then you can slide it out. Then. Remove the four screw that secure the HDD to the frame. I think this is pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to do it here. Then from here, we can see that this unit equipped with two SATA slots, one at the bottom and one at the top. But you can't actually install two hard disk drives unless they are within 7 to 9 mm thick. This hard disk drive with me is definitely more than 1 cm, so I can only have one HDD installed. When you are ready to put it back, just slide the HDD SATA port back and screw them. So
So the next item we go, the killer wireless network card. If you're not looking for something fancy, you can choose the Intel dual band instead. Also, it's notice here that we have two DDR3 RAM slots. The unit actually have four RAM slots, but we can only see two here. The other two is on the other side of the motherboard under the keyboard, which I will show you in a while. If you have never changed RAM in your laptop before, it's a bit different than desktop. For starter, the size is different. Laptop RAM is half as long as desktop's RAM. Then the latch is a bit different as well. To remove the RAM, you just open up the latch and it will pop right out. This SY unit that I'm having has four 8GB DDR3 RAM, which adds up to 32GB. To put back the RAM, you have to slot it in in a slanted angle to the female side of the connector, then push it down. When you hear a click, that's a sign that the latch is locked. Now, let me show you the remaining two RAM, which is located at the other side of the motherboard. First, we need to identify the hole that we need to poke in to remove the keyboard. So, according to the bottom cover, the hole is located around the GPU fan. Then, you can use a soft card, for example, a laminated card, to go into the gap between the keyboard to remove the keyboard. Then, you will hear some click sound, and the keyboard will pop right out. Warning! Be very, very careful of the ribbon connecting the keyboard and the motherboard. For ease of video recording, I'm opening it out from this side. You should try to flip the keyboard to the other side. That way, it's easier to handle the ribbons connector. The connector is very small. It might be necessary to handle the connector using something smaller than your finger. Like this case, I'm using the teeny weeny slotted screwdriver to help me. As you can see, there is an unknown partition that is covered with the screw surface. Remove the metal plate and it will reveal the remaining two hidden RAM. Illegal say that they install the primary RAM under the keyboard. I'm not sure though which RAM slot is easier to access. These two slots under the keyboard need skillful handling due to the delicate keyboard ribbon. But it may need significantly less screw to be removed compared to the back, which is 14 of them. So when you are done, just screw back the metal plate and connect the keyboard ribbon. Be very careful. I probably should move to the other side of the laptop, but I'm doing this done for you guys. When you're done with the ribbon, just slide the keyboard back into the casing, start from the bottom to the top. Then you will hear a similar click sound if you are doing it correctly. When you finish everything, then you can proceed to put back the bottom cover and screw back the 14 screws that you removed earlier. Please check out our blog for other information on the benchmark and performance. If you want more information on Illegal's S5 customizable component and price, please check out Illegal website here. Also, check out other computer accessories review here, 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 and here. Okay, that's all from me this time. Take care. Bye.